Meanwhile, the Indian state of Kerala has begun intense patrolling and is banking on hundreds of cameras after two people died in attacks by elephants in the last three weeks. In recent times, at least four districts across Kerala have been witnessing a spike in man-animal conflicts that have led to loss of life. Various man-made factors have caused a rise in such conflict situations with wildlife. Now, this is owing to the shrinking habitat for wildlife, deteriorating quality of vegetation in the forests, plantations near the forests and increase in settlements closer to the forest fringes. In recent weeks, two people have died in separate instances of wildlife attacks in Kerala's northern district of Vayanad. Now, both instances, wildlife elephants were involved. In January, there was another one. Over the last four years, more than 50 such animal attack cases have led to deaths in Kerala. Last week's incident, where a wild elephant chased a man and trampled him to death, was caught on CCTV camera. It had triggered panic among the people. It also led to allegations of negligence on the part of forest officials. It is said that the elephant involved in the attack had crossed over to Vayanad from the adjoining state of Karnataka. Questions were being raised on why the Kerala and Karnataka forest officials did not alert the residents about the elephant's movements. That too, when the elephant had been radio collared and could be tracked. Vayanad MP and Congress leader Rahul Gandhi visited Vayanad this weekend and met the aggrieved families. The Kerala government has already announced monetary compensation to the aggrieved families. However, now the government of Karnataka has stepped in. The government in Karnataka has announced a compensation of $18,000 for the Vainad man who was trampled by the elephant. As per the Karnataka government, the elephant involved in this fatal attack belonged to their state. This has snowballed into a political controversy in the state as there have been a rise in the number of farmer suicides in Karnataka recently and the opposition has questioned the state government's need to intervene in Kerala. However, the efforts to track and tranquilize this elephant are still going on. For almost 10 days, forest officials are making attempts to capture the wild elephant in a bid to bring down the public anger in Vayanad. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.